Hello, everyone. It is the third week in our study of Ecclesiastes. The first two chapters have set the stage for Solomon to continue his explanation of what is going on in this life and what we should be spending our time on. This is chapter three of Ecclesiastes, The Meaning of Life. Chapter three's title is God Creates Balance, both good and bad uh, for very specific reasons. And we're gonna see how that plays out in chapter three. The main point of chapter three is this, try as you might, you can't avoid all pain and suffering. But rest assured, God will allow it for your good. That seems to be the, the prevailing thought of many people today, that they will do anything and everything to avoid pain and suffering. And we understand why. In fact, we do it ourselves. But throughout the Bible, the Lord reminds us that pain and suffering can actually be a good thing a positive thing for us, not just, not just physically and psychologically, but especially spiritually. The key verse in chapter 3 is from verse 14. I know that everything God does will last forever. Nothing can be added to it or taken away from it. God acts so that people will fear him. Solomon acknowledges here that God will do what he wants to do. We cannot get away from it. We cannot circumvent his plan or his will. But Solomon also understands the Lord does this for our good. He does it so that people will fear him. And fear doesn't mean to be afraid of him, like cowering in terror. That's not what this word fear means in this context. Fear means to honor him, to respect him, have awe for him, to, and finally to trust him. We see his power, we see his glory, we see his majesty, and we cannot help but trust that the Lord will do whatever it takes for us. That's why the Lord does what he does. A few things that you need to know in chapter 3. There is a classic part of chapter 3 that you're going to be familiar with, even if you didn't know it was in Ecclesiastes, even if you've actually never read it before, you've, you've heard some of this in different places. It is, there's a time for everything section. And it highlights the balance and the rhythm of this life that God orchestrates himself. There's a time for crying, but there's also a time for laughter. There's a time for death and there's the time for life. And Solomon goes down that list. It is a rhythm of life, if you will. There's a balance between good and bad. The final section of chapter three can seem a little bit morbid that Solomon is talking about death a little too much in, in kind of, in kind of a, a pessimistic way. He's simply reminding us that in this balance of life, in, this, in the rhythm of this world, we're not going to be able to escape death. That's the ultimate pain. That's the ultimate suffering. We are not going to escape it no matter what we do and no matter how hard we try. What else do you need to know? There's a section in here where Solomon says that mankind really has no advantage over animals. And it might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable when you read this in the Bible, because we know that we do have advantage over just a regular animal. We're actually going to go to heaven. Solomon's not talking about eternity, though. He's talking about our life on this earth. Just as my body is going to decay into the ground after I die, well, so will a muskrat's body decay into the ground when it dies. That's how we have really no advantage over a muskrat, even though we are people. This is going to play a part in chapter three as a whole. There's a time for everything. You can't avoid pain and suffering and death. Neither can animals. But in this, in this kind of morbid section, notice verse 13 and verse 22 he comes back to that positive theme of contentment. 
Make sure you highlight those passages. Put a star next to them. Remember those. This is what, this is what Solomon and the Lord through Solomon wants to remind us of over and over again. What is the meaning of life according to the third chapter? It's not avoiding as much pain as you can. That should not be your goal. So it's okay if you do avoid some pain, of course. You don't want to go looking for it. But it's okay if you have some pain and suffering and turmoil and difficulty in your life. The Lord uses that for your good. And it's going to be beneficial for you to go through those things in the long run. Hope you can open up your Bibles now and you read Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And as you read it, remember this. Solomon reminds us that even though there will be times of pain and suffering, there will also be times of peace and happiness from the Lord as well. There's a balance. Sometimes it might seem out, out of balance. Sometimes you might feel as if you're getting more of the pain and the suffering than the peace and the happiness. But the Lord will make sure that you get what you need in this life because he is your God and you are his child. Have a good time reading Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and we will talk again next week.